All right, hey, let's welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are uh, back with some more MSI content. Uh, MSI just wrapped up, I think, just a couple days ago. Um, we're here once again with Drew Bird. How's it going, Drew? You there, Drew? Yeah, can you? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, okay, we can hear you now. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, evaporated for a second. Uh, I'm doing good. MSI was, uh, I think even better than last MSI is in my opinion. It was, yeah, it was I definitely agree. Yeah. It was super interesting. I think all the teams played really well overall. So it was great to see good do, games um, all around. Yeah. Before we talk about the games, do you, do you prefer, because they changed the formats of both. So which do you like the MSI format or the world's format? Ooh. You don't have to elaborate. Just like a like hot take, which one now? Cause now we've seen, um two msis and then one world so far um it's a good question i think i don't know i think just because um the world's was, was was super new and we've seen two of the msi in one now i think msi is probably better in determining maybe who's the best team yeah but um i don't know worlds is really cool and you do get a lot of different games a lot of different stuff going on so uh, more yeah. more representatives from each region, so I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, I think MSI is maybe feels a little better, but um, yeah. I do think Worlds is is a really good format too. With the uh, what's it called, Swiss, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Swiss was pretty cool. So I'm excited to see it later this year again, um, for sure. But I do think they did pretty well at this MSI. Um, so yeah. All right. What about you? What about yourself? Um, I think I agree pretty much with what you said yeah okay. I like i think msi is like you get better i guess like just like better outcomes and it feels like you get like as you get further and further in you get yeah. like really really hype matchups um so i like that a lot but i think worlds is more unpredictable and it, and it was really fun um like the swiss stages is really fun because you never know what's going to happen so like, yeah you know, like who's going to get drawn and like what's going to happen like that that's just like exciting but i think uh, msi is just like a better like i like the double elimination and it's all best of five so I yeah I, I, I liked it. it was just no best of yeah. ones that was that was pretty good yeah. actually yeah so, yeah. so i think they really both good. have like pros and cons for sure but uh, yeah absolutely yeah. i still think um coming from the upper bracket you should get like I don't know what exactly, but like either like two extra, like maybe you get like one win for free placed into the best of five or something like that. You need to have something so that the double elimination just doesn't just like not count for you, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I think... saw someone. I saw someone say like maybe they get like uh, like side select in the first three like three games or something. Maybe, yeah. Which I thought, like, maybe bad. that, but that might be, I don't Still know, sometimes seems a side little select weak. Is, yeah. is really important, and sometimes side select, like, isn't For sure. important, so, like, I feel like that could be hit or miss. Yeah, absolutely, I definitely agree. That's not a bad idea. Uh, I, I'd be down for, like, a best of seven or something like that, I don't know, but um, either way. Uh, yeah, let's jump into the MSI stuff. So, in the previous video, we got all the way up to the Team Liquid match um, in the actual bracket stage, which we're going to jump over to. Um, but, if yeah, if, if just a fair warning here, so there's going to be spoilers here if you have not seen the games from MSI yet, so um, go ahead and click off and watch those before we head out into this, but this is going to be kind of like a recap and our thoughts on, on the games. So, yeah. Um, there we go. So, uh, we reviewed the TL versus Top thing they got at uh, put down in the loser's bracket or the lower bracket i suppose um and uh yeah we'll, we'll talk about them in a second let's finish up the first upper bracket round one uh so Jinji end up going up versus fanatic um i actually thought fanatic played super well in the series it was, i think at least the first yeah. two games i would say um at least the first first game i can't remember this much of the second but um i think fanatic put up a really strong fight against Jinji, but um Jinji is just such a crazy super team and uh one of the few super teams that is not um disappointing so far so <laughs> that's really good what about you yeah i think it was uh if you just didn't watch the games and you you like looked back at it you would be like oh chenji just stomped them but yeah no it, it, right. it, it very easily could have been uh 2-0 after the first two games fanatic so yeah um for sure yeah, yeah, I, I thought they would have a pretty strong showing 
um, in the losers bracket just because they put up such a good fight with uh, right. uh, Gen G, who I thought was one of the favorites. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Gen G looking pretty good. Uh, but yeah, uh, either way, let's move on to Billy Billy. Um, so BLG versus PSG Talon. Um, they uh, PL- Billy Billy obviously goes three two there and ends up taking out PSG, but PSG puts a big fight. They take B- BLG to five games. What the heck happened here, guys? <laughs> I, I actually, I actually skipped watching this one. Like, I, I, I thought um, this was going to be the least exciting of the <laughs> first round matches. I was like, oh, Billy Billy wins three zero, no problem. Yeah. And I remember waking up the next day. I was like, wait a second. I got it. <laughs> so I had to like, go back and watch highlights and stuff of it because it was uh. Yep. Yeah, PSG Talon, like, they came was out a to prove something. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was cool seeing, uh, you know, like, Maple and, and stuff yeah, after 100%. such a long time show up again. And, and really, yeah, they played so well. Definitely. Um, yeah, it was, it was awesome to see. PSG played really well, obviously, like we're saying. Uh, Billy Billy, of course, ends up moving on. But uh, PSG is just kind of, like, keeping up their crazy momentum from play-in stage. Just uh, knocking out NA and then uh, almost knocking out the number one seed from from uh, LPL, which is kind of crazy. But um, they didn't quite make it, so they do end up getting knocked down to the bottom uh, lower bracket for round two. But yeah. uh, that means uh, last up, up we have T1 versus G2. And T1 ends up 3 2 G2, but um, uh, you know the stylistic G2 is, is like the best into T1. Uh, <laughs> I was yeah. like, maybe there's a chance, but I think T1 obviously is going to be favored here. Um, either way, they did take him to five games. Um, pretty pretty close series, I'd say, um, in some regards, but um, T1 just coming out being the better one in the end, of course. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, but that, I, I mean, I felt like overall Europe showed up. In round, it sounds weird to say because they both fell down in the losers bracket, but they yeah. both both G two and Fnatic looked pretty good in really this, good this first round for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, moving on. That means uh, Gen G versus Top Esports in the second round of upper brackets. Um, this one was a obviously a five game banger again. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it was pretty top before esports put up a pretty good fight, but I think once again just Genji just the kind of the super team they have is better. I don't know, Canyon's a crazy yeah. dude, Chovy's still crazy. They got like actually Keen um, had been putting up really good performances. I hadn't I couldn't remember exactly too much of him recently um, in my memory, but he he showed up this tournament tournament for sure. Yes, yeah. Uh, agree. I thought um, Jackie Love played obviously really well. I thought yeah. Top looked like they could definitely have beaten Genji here. This was um, this was probably the best series I saw Top play in the whole tournament. Okay, um, okay. they great. like really showed up to play. They they all played pretty well, but um, honestly, this one was just like a Chovy diff. He was. <laughs> he's just so good keen tweet played well as well but this series sticks out as one that yeah Chovy definitely kind of oh for sure for sure took over this one so um but yeah top played well jackie love definitely played well um definitely all right so that means though. Jinji moves on top esports goes to the lower bracket and then uh billy billy versus or blg versus t1 here uh billy billy obviously three won them um i don't remember too much of this one so you're gonna have to go through more more of this one if you remember it all <laughs> yeah this one um this is interesting i mean uh, so I'll, I'll say this bin has been um like just the main carry for blg and and he had a really great tournament the whole way through um so it, it kind of like fager didn't play bad but he didn't play great in this series um and Ze- like I, I think T1 a lot of times relies on Zeus to like really be their win condition and Bin like you can't really do that in the Bin. Bin just was the stronger top laner, so right, for sure. um, I think it kind of like tripped T1 up in a sense in that because they were. It's normally how they like to get their advantages with with top lane. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I don't know, not too much. I, Billy, I, I actually I wasn't surprised by this result. I, I think Billy Billy is just like a stronger version right now than t1 if that makes sense like yeah, for sure like how t1 likes to play billy billy just plays it better definitely 
Definitely, yeah. yeah. Obviously, I think going into this series, this uh, the MSI, they are the tournament favorites pretty much. Yep. Um, so not super surprising they take out T1, but uh, yeah, kind of interesting. You know, the uh, the current quote unquote top of the top of the or like number one team in the world is going to be up against the previous world champions. Kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Little storyline there for sure. But yeah, um, they end up three winning, which means um, T1 gets knocked out of the lower bracket and Billy Billy move on to face Genji. Um, so first, let's uh, wrap up this lower bracket round of run one before we move on. We have uh, Team Liquid Honda, obviously uh, facing against Fnatic in the first round here. Um, they end up three winning them, um, but I think Fnatic put up a pretty pretty strong fight. Um, but I was super glad to see TL finally pulling it through for NA. <laughs> and uh, I think I can't remember the exact stat, but I think it was the first uh, best of five. We won against uh, Europe, or, or maybe it's yep. just Fnatic. I think it's the I first think it's one Fnatic. we won against Fnatic. Yep. Yep. And yep. I think also the first one we best of five we won against Europe in like 2019, since like 2019 or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. it's been a minute. Something crazy like that, but yeah. Um, it's really cool to see. What were your thoughts on this one? Yeah, no, definitely excited. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, I thought Fnatic was going <clears> to <throat> really just give us the business here um, <laughs> based on how strong they looked against Gen.G, but... Um, Team Liquid was just better overall start to finish this yeah. series. Um, I think it kind of caught Fnatic off guard a bit. Um, the one game that they won was the only time that like TL looked kind of shaky, but mm -hmm. um, the other games were just like they were very, very straightforward. Like T TL didn't it, to me, it didn't look like it looked like TL was in the driver's seat the whole time, which was really good to see. Um, so yeah. yeah, no, it was. Uh, Definitely gave me some hope. Um, taking out Fnatic, I was like, okay, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do a little sum in the lower bracket. Hopefully, you know, revive that that NA copium. Let's go. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, TL move on. Fnatic unfortunately get knocked out um, in that one as well. So a little bit sad for Fnatic, but um, honestly, there wasn't that good of that that big of a sentiment. Man, I'm gonna just gonna kick him down while I'm down. I'm gonna stop talking. Actually, never mind. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Uh, G2 end up 3 owing PSG in the lower bracket, which means PSG get removed, um, sadly. But they did put up a pretty decent fight. I can't remember the series too much. Uh, what do you remember from this one? Uh, this one wasn't. It wasn't even close. It. It. To, honestly, to me, it looked like they had um, used up like all of their, like all of their power trying yeah. to take out Billy. Billy up okay. in the upper. Fair. And it just looked like they had nothing left. G two was it was like pretty, because I don't I don't think G two is like that. Like I I feel like BLG is better than G two. Honestly, um, I think that's not crazy to say. Um, yeah. And so I assume PSG could put up a really good fight, but yeah, it just looked like they were out of uh, like out of I don't out know, like out of gas or something. Yeah. yeah out of juice. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, so G2 move on there, and let's head up to uh, upper bracket round three. So, yes, Jinji versus Billy Billy. Jinji end up three winning them here. Uh, were you expecting a, a five game series here, or a little bit closer, maybe? What were you thinking I was, about this yeah. one? I was expecting it to be a lot closer. Um, Billy Billy looked like they could have won some more of the games, but honestly, mm. what was the biggest surprise to me was how i don't mean this in like a flame way um yeah because i think he's probably still the second best mid laner but like chovy just kind of gapped knight this series right um which was like crazy so, yeah, so it's and like i said it's not even like me sure. flaming knight it's me like i just saying chovy just looked that much better Fair, um, yeah, yeah. He was just so better. that yeah that was the biggest difference to me he he just like yeah, mid was no contest, and BLG really relies on Knight to do a lot of the work for them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was it was a pretty pretty cool series to see for sure. These are like what the some of the better. I mean, obviously the probably yeah. the two best teams in the world, right? Yeah. So um, it was a really cool series, but yeah, Genji ended up three winning them. Uh, Genji just looking crazy. I don't know, J Canyon Chovy, like what the heck. That's all you got to say. You don't even have to add the rest. And then once you add the rest in, it's like, what? Yeah. And so, King, uh... King, King did a great job. Like, like you could tell Ben was trying to run away with some of the games, but Keen yeah. did like a really good job 
um, keeping him in check, and, yeah, sure. and honestly, like finding some advantages sometimes too. So yeah, that's he, what I was gonna he, say. Yeah. I think he. I don't know. If, I can't remember if it was this series that he got a couple solo kills on him or not, but I yeah. think he he was in some situations getting getting advantages yep. or outplays and stuff. Yep, so. yep, yep. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, for sure. Billy Billy obviously uh, ending up in dropping down. Uh, Gigi moving on to the finals. Um, so lower bracket. <clears throat> Let's get these done and out of the way real quick. So. <laughs> T1 versus TL, the the two teams, pretty cool. This is actually a pretty cool series overall, but um, T1 ended up 3 one ing the uh, TL, obviously, and A gets knocked yeah. out here. But um, We took a game, though. Let's go. We did take a game. It was a really cool game, too. And then... Uh, <laughs> and then game four, you remember that one? That was a, that was a fiesta. Yeah. It was yeah. like... <laughs> it was like... TL just wanted to have fun. They were like, all right, we know we're, lo- we're going to lose or something. Yep. I don't even know. Like, they were trying, but I don't know. It was it was a fiesta. <laughs> it was kind of weird to see. But uh, it was pretty cool to see us take a game off them at least. And I thought there were some situations we could have maybe pulled at least one, maybe two win- more wins out. But uh, it, was, it was pretty rough. TL looked really, I don't know. They looked really bad, honestly. Like, no flame, but... <laughs> they yeah. looked pretty rough this series overall, besides the yep. the one game that we ended up uh, clutching it out. Um, what were you What were you thinking about this one? Mm, I agree. I agree for sure. Um, I am. I'm gonna give my most uh, most improved player <laughs> on on an NA team award to uh, Yondo. Okay. Okay. Um, I thought right. he like improved he i was impressed by that by the time they were eliminated um uh, hopefully this doesn't disappear but i i feel like he learned how to play lucian over the course of this oh yeah that was a really good lucian game actually like the first in a lucian this year that looks good yeah i was gonna say if you remember all the all the times we've covered na games um (laughs) we always flame the lucian pick because it always looks so bad and i was like wait he's figured it out he he knows how to play it now so uh if nothing else if he can bring that back to na then uh worth i'll say this was worth yeah absolutely uh but yeah that means t obviously get knocked out uh it's pretty cool though i think they actually did some like content together as well if i remember correctly so i'm um, definitely check that stuff out as well but either way um top esports uh top esports obviously going up against g2 um i think they were kind of shattered is what i would have to say probably after the ninja match yeah. um because they completely got sweeped by g2 here the 3-0 obviously yep. but top it reminded me of the like same. how psg looked when they faced g2 it's funny yeah. g2 kind of played the That's two fair. teams that lost really close series and then just like true crushed them but uh yeah it seemed very that. similar yeah it seemed very similar this time <laughs> around too absolutely yeah, um, I don't remember too much of this series, but uh, I do remember Top looked really out of sorts, and G2 just kind of yeah. showing up, cleaning it up, you know. Uh, G2 yeah. definitely stepping up, though, and then obviously Caps, getting... Caps looked really good. Caps yeah. looked really, really good. For sure. Yeah. And then obviously getting the, the two three O's in a row there. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, they yeah. are looking... People were, looking uh, people were definitely good. hyped on G2, uh, you know, which makes sense after you get two three O's back to back. You're like, oh, okay. yeah. That's what we're talking about. All right, so that means the uh, lower bracket round three moves uh, for, happens first, and then we'll go um, on to the next one. So lower bracket round three, we have T1 versus G2, and T1 3 O's G2 after the, the close <laughs> five-game series first off. Yep. So, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Um, what were your thoughts on the series? Uh, kind of a letdown. Um, not because I want it necessarily g2 to win over t1 it was kind of neutral but um just i thought it would be more i thought it'd be closer just based on yeah the first series they had for sure um i thought there was a chance g2 could have won i was like i yeah i saw a lot of people saying g2 were favorites in this game (laughs) um they were not (laughs) and it wasn't it wasn't particularly super close but um i think people really were hyped after how they beat psg talent in top but yeah t1 just was overall better they just you know, for sure. Hair G2. I just, I wanted it to be closer. So I was, this was a letdown one for me. It was, um, I think there were, I think G2 did put up some pretty good fights throughout the series though. Uh, even though it was like just a three Oh score in the end, it looks a little deceiving maybe, but yeah, 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 that's fair. But yeah. All right. Uh, so that means G2 unfortunately gets knocked out. That's, that's the West out. Uh, 
T1 moves on, of course, and then that means in the lower bracket round four, we got Billy Billy or BLG versus T1. Uh, ended up being a five game series. T1 showing up pretty well here. Um, but Billy Billy taking it in the end. What were your thoughts on this one? Um, Pretty, pretty good series. Pretty high. Yeah. Um, definitely both teams came to play, but it, again, it, I just think, um, I just think Billy Billy, I think BLG matches up really good in the T1. Um, so Fair. I like the T1 put up a fight. Uh, I felt bad that they got knocked out, but uh, it kind of went the way that I thought it would. I definitely was thinking we'd get the Genji BLG rematch in the grand finals. And Yeah, uh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it is... just seemed like the right thing. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, obviously for T1, not getting knocked out. But um, actually, now that you mention it, didn't they get knocked out by, by Billy Billy last year as well? Last MSI, MSI yeah. Yeah, that's yep. kind of funny. Um, all right. Well, anyways, uh, yeah. I think uh, Ben's TF was like really good in this series as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Except, it did, it did. Uh, well, you know, in the end, it it worked out right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was pretty good. It was like I think it was it was BLG win, T1 win, BLG win, T1 win, BLG win. So it was like back and forth uh, wins the whole time. But um, yeah, Billy Billy takes it in the end and move on. So. Uh, that means the grand finals here uh, for for Jinji and BLG is going to happen. So uh, Jinji end up obviously, as you can see here, three winning um, BLG, uh, which is kind of interesting. Not what you would expect. Once again, um, a lot of times uh, lower bracket kind of gives a buff from what I've seen, at least in North America, but maybe it's different. Um, uh, but yeah, BLG end up losing once again in the same fashion as before. Uh, three one to Jinji and yeah, what were your thoughts on this finals here? Um, what are my thoughts on this finals? Yeah, I thought this series. one was it was a good series. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, the first game, especially like I think Billy Billy should have uh, should have won that one. Um, <laughs> fair, fair. But yeah, there was a bit of a draft diff, but uh, they definitely I think could have won that one. But um, overall, I thought it was a lot closer than the upper bracket finals. Um, even though it was three mm-hmm. one, um, they BLG kind of used all their bands on Chovy all the time in the first <laughs> couple games, um, which kind of made it so Chovy didn't take over, which made the games a lot closer. Like uh, Chovy just didn't run everybody over, so they actually had to play, you know, through other people for um, sure. But I don't know. Hands was really, really good this game. Uh, or I, honestly, just this whole series, Hands was so good at support. Oh yeah, Queen was really good. Canyon was. I mean, I just felt like it was a team diff. Like Genji just had so many good players at so many positions, and they all kind of uh, showed up for sure. Showed up at the, for the series. So like, yeah. how do you? You can't really beat them at that point, you know. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, just kind of mirroring what you said for sure. Uh, Keen, this is the series that I saw him pop off the most on, yep, and yep. he was completely running it um this yeah. whole game uh in a good way and then yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> canyon of course on like the nidley was like running it as well it was crazy he was just like destroying everyone everywhere pretty much i think it was what two games i think this series that he played nidley uh at least yeah. one but i, I can't yep, remember if yep. it was two or not but um he had a parthus in there yep <laughs> uh yeah and then um what was the other one? Like you were saying, Lehens on the, I think the Blitzcrank, he like wasn't missing. Oh my like, God. At all. That was crazy. It was just a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought that was so, yeah, that's like a pocket pick for him, but yeah, it was, it was yeah. such a good game to pick it. Um, he, he just like, it took worked over. so well. It, yeah. It was so funny. That's the game that, uh, Pays got, I think like a record amount of kills. Oh, did he really? Yeah. I think, I think he got like a lot like, at one of the games too. Yeah. He has, he, I think he had the most games or most kills for an international game. Wow. But everyone, it's it. You can tell because everyone was like giving all the props to Lehens instead of Hayes, <laughs> and but in this case, it was totally deserved because he, yeah, Lehens was doing all of the work with that <laughs> with that fair. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was a banger of a series. Good. It was a really good series. Genji, obviously MSI champions, which also means uh, I forgot to mention this before, but apparently Chovy, at least according to the analyst that I was hearing. Uh, had never gotten to a finals before in in international so uh this is his first finals that he got to and he also wins his first international yep so people can no longer call him a choker (laughs) i think Uh, i think that's how it works right 
<laughs> he automatically gng automatically goes the world he did it worlds yep, yep. true which so. also i think what was the other thing i think obviously they get the extra slot uh oh, for their region. Um, and then i think yeah really... lck and lpl yep. get four teams now it's whatever regions make it to the, to the finals right finals they yep. each get four uh four teams right so yeah. that's pretty hype as well uh obviously kind of standard overall but uh at least it's like you know quote unquote earned um <laughs> for sure but yeah it was, uh, it was a banger of an msi honestly it was really good like we were saying before um any uh, any recap thoughts here uh, to wrap it up drew um no no i really like it i thought um the really good thing about the format is i feel like you get a really good you get to see all the best teams play each other um and sometimes you get to see them play each other more than once which is obviously super cool um and i feel like that sometimes you get robbed of that at worlds like there's teams you really want to see match up and they just don't so msi definitely delivers in that sense and um, yeah for sure yeah, yeah excited to see ken genji golden road they're, <laughs> they're halfway there That's so true i didn't think will about they actually. yeah will they win summer and will they win worlds like we'll have to see i mean yeah I would assume they're gonna win summer. We'll see though. But yeah, yeah, that seems like that seems possible. I don't know. I mean, Joby finally winning his first his first mm -hmm. international. There you go. This is the year. Get yep. the first Golden Road team ever, maybe. Just like last time we were last year when we were saying JDG. Yep, yep. <laughs> this could be now. It could Let's be see. Let's see if T1 turned it on at the end. What happens? Uh, all right, that's going to be wrapping it up for us this time around. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and we will try to catch you for um, for some more LCS content for summer. And then obviously we'll, we'll see you at Worlds as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you all later.